Welcome back and happy Monday. A much happier Monday because we've been brought treats. You know, all the complaining that we do every day around this time, it paid off. All right. We got some sweet treats from our friends over at SA Live. I think Justin oh. called that cookie. So I that's, can't have this cookie. That's a Justin question. I'll Mike, I'll what do you guys got going on over well, there? I got, I got a whole bunch more of those sweet treats. Going to show you how to make them, how you can order them just in time for some of the holidays coming up here. Don't know about Easter, not though, because that's just right around the corner. Also, how about a free car? How about more than one free car? We got a bunch of them. We're going to tell you how you can uh, enter to win one this weekend. Okay, time to do a little exercise, but this is like way over the top exercise, right, Jen? Yes, they're combining flight and fitness here at the Arium. There's 15 different classes that you can try for all different ages. And yes, we are getting a sample here. These guys are very impressive. And also there's a deal if you want to try a trial class. We're going to show all that and more. All right, back to those yummy cupcakes. Take a look here. Southern Sweet Artistry. These two young ladies, Yvonne and Genesis, mother and daughter. Who's the better decorator? She is. She, wow, really, is she a good student? Yes. She's very good. Oh, my. Yes. Well, they've got that all worked out. We're gonna tell you how to, uh, some of the uh, decorating tips for some of these beautiful cupcakes and cookies. Speaking of decorating, how about decorating yourself? Some great makeup tips and our dear friend, Elsa Fernandez from Eye Candy Boutique. So Hello. what's the main tip for spring? Spring, three words, shimmer, not glitter. Okay. Illuminate yourself. And you've got a great deal too, We've right? We've got some great deals for our boutique. All right, that and a whole lot more coming up on SA Live, so stick around. Right now on KSAT.com, Fiesta, oh. right around the corner. And KSAT's kicking it off with a KSAT Insider Contest like no other. KSAT Insiders have a chance to be a royal for a day. That's right. So this gives you the opportunity to ride in a parade with your own court, even get some extra prizes. We have all that information, not only on your screen, but of course, all on KSAT.com. We're in the mid-70s right now. Skies have cleared out pretty nicely. We've got some sun at the moment. Temperatures will make it up to around 81 today, but we've got a front coming through that kicks up some showers tonight. And tomorrow, it's windy, it's cooler. 30% chance of rain, 70 on Tuesday. Highs only in the mid-60s on Wednesday and cloudy. Okay, I can attest. 1 to 10, what are we looking at here? This is, this is a great... Easter cookie because it's like party on the outside, mm -hmm. but look, it's a party on the inside. Okay, so we're like an eight. Oh yeah. Okay. It's got confetti on the inside of it. It's like a cake it's, fetti. It's like a oh, cascarón. Yeah. Oh look, the fiesta theme and everything, fantastic. Well, that is it for us here on the news at noon. Of course, what starts now? Um, my diet. Oh. SA <laughs> Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square, this is SA Live. Mark Kolaw here from CarFest. We're going to give away this car and some others, and we want to tell you how to win this weekend. Yeah, simple as that. This weekend, they are giving away cars, plural cars. We're going to tell you all about that at that car fest. Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Monday. I'm Mike Oster Hage. Fiona is off today. so. Car giveaway got us thinking. By the way, Jen is out there, and Jen, I know you're doing some acrobatics right now, but you love a nice car, too. If you could have your dream car, the keys were handed to you, what would it be? Uh, you know, I've been thinking about this since this morning. I've always wanted a souped-up Jeep Wrangler. I don't know if I drive it, like, every day, but just to go have fun, you know? Top off, big wheels, have some fun. <laughs> what about you, Mike? I like it. I kind of in the same genre though. I want one of those, the Hummer H1. You know, the original Hummers, the the big kind of military version of it, because I think it reminds me of my old Tonka trucks. So, something like that. I was and, gonna say boys and their toys, right? Exactly. <laughs> yes, back to you. All right, we are gonna hear more from you coming up a little bit later on. Some of that great acrobatic workout there. But if you could have your dream car. What would it be? Let us know. That's our social question for today. And hopefully we can find your answer just a little bit later on. All right, back to that cupcake, that cookie that Ursula was trying. I don't think there's any calories in that. I'm not sure. But the countdown to Easter is on. We're officially less than two weeks away. 
Can't believe that, that this Sunday is Palm Sunday. No celebration would be complete without, of course, some sweets. And Yvonne Ortiz and Genesis Aramio, co-owners and mother-daughter duo with Southern Sweet Artistry, here to show us these wonderful cupcakes. So Ursula said it was like a party on the outside, party on the inside with those cookies. Yes. Is that how you describe it? Yes, especially with the sprinkles inside of it. It makes it nice and cute and nice and like a funfetti type deal. Okay, so. and you have taught your daughter Everything she knows about baking, right? Yes. Favorite thing to bake? Cupcakes. Favorite thing to bake? A cake. A cake. Look at that beautiful cake over there. That is one of the prettiest Easter cakes with the little cookies. So it's a little bit of everything. You got cake, you got cookies. Is there a surprise inside there? There is. Ooh, what is it? It's icing. <laughs> 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 the cupcakes and the cookies are absolutely gorgeous. How do we decorate? You said this is one of the easiest ones here, yes. right? How do I start? So you're just going to grab it and you're just going to squeeze it. You're going to squeeze it. Hold straight down. Hold straight down, squeeze and it, and then lift right up. Oh, there's many little tips. I thought yes. it was like, oh, well, that's easy, like you said. Try to make okay. it easy for you. So how long have you guys uh, y'all been in business? For about 10 years. That, wow. How's it going? Good. I started when I was like nine or ten, and then I just never stopped helping her. And you are a student at Texas A&M San Antonio yes. right now, studying accounting. So you got somebody to do your taxes for you, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. How do I make the leaf now? This one, you want to turn the bag this way. Good. Up and down. Yes, and then just squeeze it. Yeah. And then just Keep let it come out, and then pull away. There you oh, go. look at that! I did it. Okay, and how do I make the carrot now? This one, you want to turn this this way. You want to hold that tip side, the fat part down. That, the, that's, okay, fat part down? Yes. And, and then, then just go back and forth? Back and forth, and just okay. like a wavy. All right, now this is not your day job. What do you do? No, I work as a full-time, um, I'm a 911 call taker. Well, thank you very much for your service, and this is kind of your... Oh, great You're, job. Well, thank you very much. I got complimented by the by the, the is a good stress reliever for me. So is, is being a nine one one operator everything you see on T V and in the movies or is it worse or better? Um, it's not everything you see on T V, but um it, you know, it's not for everybody. Yeah. So all right, so how did you all get started in this business? Because, I mean, starting a, a small business like this can be kind of tough when you're doing all this baking and, and having to do all the decorating, right? Yes. I've always loved baking. My mom baked when she was younger, and now my daughter loves baking with me. Did mom teach you everything she knows? Yes. How was she as a teacher? Your mom. She was strict, but I had fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we were doing a little contest when we were rehearsing here. Let's see the mom's side eye if she doesn't do it right. So. Okay, let's see the daughter's side eye looking at mom. Now do it both at each other. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> all right, if somebody wanted to order uh, Easter, you're all fold up, right? Yes. All fold up, nice grammar, yes. Mike. But for Fiesta coming up here? Um, you want to get, you can contact us on Instagram and on Facebook at Southern Sweet Artistry. All right, where'd you come up with the name, by the way? Uh, we live on the south side of town. Mm -hmm. And we do sweets, of course, and it's all art. It's all and, a piece of art. And all the artistry. And I think my favorite piece has to be the bunny with the little carrot ears. Look at how gorgeous that is. And then those pastel bunnies. And you said the you bake them not like your mom likes them, correct? No, my mom likes them a bit more crunchy. <laughs> okay, and these are just nice. And so Ursula said a little party on the outside, party on the inside. It's got that little bit of a... Just that nice little chew. Mm-hmm. Mm. And all the, oh, look, there's sprinkles there's in sprinkles there. inside. Yeah. Oh, I just noticed that. Okay, so once again, if you would like to order, and you said as far as cakes or anything like that, you can make anything, right? Yes. Whatever design. We do a little bit for. from um, birthdays, quinces, weddings. Okay. So a little bit of everything. Just go on their website. You got all the information. If you didn't catch it all, just head to our website, salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab or you can scan that QR code right there. Once again, it is Southern Sweet Artistry. And ladies, Yvonne and Genesis, thank you very much. Appreciate thank it. You. And again, thank you thank for, you for having us. As thank you for having us. Operator. Appreciate that. All right. It is a gym that combines fitness and 
flight, believe it or not. Yes, indeed, with the unique classes available for all ages, and our Jen Tobias Strusky takes us off to the Arium right off there off Perrin Vital. Hey, Jen, what's going on? That's right. I'm already so impressed, by the way, by the students, the instructors here. It's amazing what they can do. I'm joined now by Claudia. Claudia, thanks for having us. Thank you for being here. I'm, I'm so, excited. so I'm excited, too. <laughs> wow. You guys have really been so impressive. Um, so you have a bunch of students here today. We're going to kind of show off some of the different apparatuses, and we're going to start right here. So tell me what we have here. Yeah, so this is Tavo. He's one of our students. He's been doing aerial about eight years. He is um, doing a demonstration on Lyra. This is our aerial hoop. It is um, something that anybody can do. We offer it in our kids' classes all the way through adults, mm -hmm. all levels. Um, it's a really fun apparatus. You can do stuff underneath it, in the middle, up on top, in the span sets even. Mm -hmm. so and how, how challenging is this? I know I asked you, but it's not just upper body strength, right? It's pretty much... Oh full yeah, body. <laughs> definitely full body. Full, it's a full body workout. You use your core, your legs. Um, yeah, just just about everything. Beautiful. Yeah, wow. A lot of so strength. Impressed. And he did tell us that pink helped to inspire him to yes. start the aerial arts. And next over here we have Dara and and Bree. They're going to show us some really cool stuff here. Tell me about the, what they're doing here. So um, Dara here is wrapping um, up in the silks here. They're going to do a duo. Um, some duo moves here. We have some duo uh, arts that we do in different apparatuses. You can pretty much do it on any apparatus. Um, and they're going to they're gonna get on here. Really amazing to see them yes. do it together. It's just so cool. So much fun. I love doing duo work myself, too. Okay, look at this. She's pulling her up. <laughs> wow. Okay. And this takes lots of practice, right, Claudia? Yes, yes. And coordination um, with your partner, lots of communication. Um, yeah, definitely a, a, a fun challenge to do. Wow, and how long have they both been at this, <laughs> would you say? Um, Bree's been doing it um, several years, and uh, Dara's been, been doing it a while. Dara is actually the, the co-owner of the studio. Amazing, guys. Wow, I'm ser my jaw is literally dropping here because this is just really awesome to see. Okay, we're going to... Let them finish and come on down. Okay. Yeah, wow, beautiful. I have to give a round of applause. <laughs> Super impressive, guys. And then you have. Yeah, and then over here we have Stella. And this is uh, this is my daughter. She's she just turned six, and she is showing off the aerial sling. So we offer classes in sling for adults and for kids. And she's uh, she's been doing aerial since she was about 18 months old. So she's been doing it for Look a while. Our kids' classes start at five years old and um, go all the way through 10. And then we have teen classes also. So we have um, two teen classes and two of the younger kids' classes. Wow, and like you said, they have lots of, ooh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> lots of energy, right? <laughs> lots too. of energy, yeah. It's really amazing to, to see them perform. <laughs> and y'all mentioned classes and you have about 15 different, right, classes. Yeah. Um, tell me about what some of those entail. So we have, um, classes on every apparatus. Mm -hmm. We have classes on, um, even on straps, which are not out today, mm -hmm. but we have um, trapeze and uh, flying pole. We have uh, the silk, the sling, the lira, mm -hmm. um, and we have workshops and just about everything. We have a full Pilates studio in the back. Nice. So lots of um, conditioning available. Yes. Yeah. All right, and there is a deal as well. Yes. So it's a, what, 50% off your trial class. Trial class. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And so we have all that information. Of course, we have it provided for you on our website, so you can head over to SA Live, salive.com, click the As Seen on SA Live tab, or there's a QR code. You can scan that as well. It'll take you there. And don't forget the promo code is SA Live to get that 50% off. All right, and when we come back, we're going to see Claudia. See that pole right there? Okay, she's going to show us some moves on that. All right. Mike, back to you. Just like you, Jen. I mean, jaw dropping watching them and, and her daughter too. That was simply amazing. Yes. And they make it look so I know, easy. so much talent here, Mike. Wow. They do. They're very strong. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, I can't wait to see uh, coming up here a little bit later on in the show. Thank you very much, Jen. All right, still ahead on SA Live. It's a chance to win a car free and it's not just one being a giveaway but there's a few of them out there and it's happening and here in the Alamo City we'll tell you what you need to know to enter to win and get glammed up for spring we're showing you some of the hottest makeup trends of the season including a throwback from the 90s I didn't realize that was a throwback that's next on SA Live
Welcome back to SA Live. Well, spring has sprung, of course, and we are getting into pastels for Easter. And that's all you need to know right there. Eye Candy Boutique. Elsa Fernandez is here, and we are talking about throwback to the... It's 90s? sad to say they're calling the 90s vintage right now, Mike. I can't. My heart can't take it. <laughs> Okay, you've got some, some great makeup tips, and these are some of the uh, videos from TikTok yes. here. So let's get started. The first one, interesting, underpainting. It's called underpainting. Before the pandemic, a lot of people were contouring as the last thing they were doing before blush. So it was a more severe line on your face. Now, underpainting, you do the contour first before your concealer and your foundation to have just a little bit of the touch of the contour. Okay, so it's not, the obviously the foundation's not heavy enough to cover up what you just correct, did. Correct. So it'll just sort of hint its way it's through there. It's subtle blending. Okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right, next is minimal makeup, which minimal. sounds, makes sense around here in summertime. Yes, not everybody needs to be camera ready at all times. So if you wanna go for the minimal look, my favorite product for that is the Super Goop Glow Screen. It comes in a couple of different shades shades, but it's pretty much a tinted SPF. You put that, you put a little bit of color corrector under your eyes. If you need concealer, you can do that on your face too. And then um, you can use a multi-stick. The one that we're showing right now is from Ilia. Uh -huh. And it, the multi-stick is my favorite because you can use it as a blush. You can use it as a, a lip and an eye. And with this, this is, I mean, put that on and like you said, the other little touch-ups, you're good to go. Yes. But always use an SPF underneath your makeup. Correct. So that's going to protect your skin all year round even when it's not sunny outside. Moisturizer SPF then do all this you stuff got on it. top. Okay next all things frosted. Frosted. <laughs> <laughs> I love the rolling of the R. We are in spring but we're obviously going to keep our winter frost so through, I like, like I said, <laughs> three words, shimmer, not glitter. That's what's going to make it look a little bit more elevated and um, really daytime wear. So whether it be a cheek, a lip, an eye, if you have one of these cool illuminators like Fenty has, it's a liquid, you can put it on the tip of your nose or on your Cupid's bow on your lip after your and you lipstick. Even have it, you even have it on your, your I eyes, I have a little too. bit of frosted eyeshadow on. You okay. see how it's frost, not mm -hmm. shimmer? Okay. It's shimmer, not glitter. Sure, glitter. not glitter. Yes. So it's just, it's that kind of go, oh, something's going on mm -hmm. instead of like, okay, they walked into a disco or something exactly. like that. Exactly. So, Nothing okay. wrong with the disco, but no. for spring, they're saying shimmer. Yes. <laughs> no evidence from last night. Anyway, <laughs> uh, 90s throwback with browns, topes, and bronzes. Yes. Think all the supermodels from the 90s. Remember Cindy Crawford? Remember mm -hmm. the Pepsi commercials? Drew Barrymore? You have a lighter eye a lot of the browns, the taupey eyeshadows, and then my favorite part is that lipsticks that our moms used to use and our grandmas used to use <laughs> are now cycling back. One of my favorites, uh, one of my mom's favorite, rum raisin. You can hardly find it in stores because the Revlon rum raisin is like an it thing on TikTok. So if you have a good um, taupe or neutral or brown shade that you used to like in the 90s, Bring it on back. I, for some reason, that name brings up Rum raisin? Yes. yes. And then with that, smoky eyes, too. Yes. So the next one that we're going to talk about is smoky eyes. And it's not so much like the grays or the blacks. The, a lot of the smoky eyes that are happening right now are more of neutral colors. So if you have like a peach or a brighter color even, so like a, a green, a gold, a blue, any kind of like monochromatic effect that you can put right now is really a part of the spring trend okay, cycle. Okay, so she's using just those, those greens in there. That's mm -hmm. a, that's and really then cool adding looking. a little bit of okay. shimmer, not the glitter. Sh shimmer, not glitter. <laughs> okay, I'll remember that. Shake and not stirred, shimmer, not glitter. Exactly. So, and then, uh, of course, pastel makeup. Yes. Okay, so I don't want you to be intimidated by pastel. I don't I'm want not. the viewers to be intimidated <laughs> by pastel. I know you love a good pastel pink pastel, shirt. Yes. Pastels are our friends. So. As far as makeup is concerned, what you can do, you don't have to go through like a whole eye of pastel. You can actually try little tips and tricks. You could do an eyeliner. Um, you can do a little bit of eyeshadow in the inner corners of your eyes. So you can dip your toe into the pastel party and not okay. have to do it all full force. Okay, I'm going to ask you to do no, first of all, or in a moment, but first, uh, your special you got going on. Yes, with SA Live 2023, you can save 15% off of our website, Eye Candy Boutique. It's Hey Eye Candy com and we specialize in plus size clothing. Do's and don'ts, kind of the same thing. I would say the do's and don'ts are the same thing, 
don't be afraid to try anything new. Do test it out on you. Um, so I wouldn't say no to anything until you try it, little uh, by little. Make a uh, go online, book an appointment to her showroom. Yes. And for more information on Candy Boutique, visit our website, salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Else Fernandez has some wonderful tips all the time. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for having me. Always good to see you. And don't forget that QR code right there on your screen. All right, still ahead on SA Live. Are you getting excited for Easter? How to decorate your home? for the holiday with some vintage items. Yeah, vintage probably back from the 90s or something. And next, would you like to win a free car? We'll tell you about an event that's giving away multiple free cars and how it's also giving back to the community. That's straight ahead. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, how would you like to win a free car? Yes, for real. Giving away 10. This is one of them right here at an upcoming event. Here to tell us all about it is Mark Kola, who is the founder and chairman of Community of Automotive Professionals, DBA Car Fest. All right, big event coming up here, giving away 10 cars. Absolutely. Thank you for having us, Mike. How are you able to do this? Well, we have local repair shops that are donating them. And so people that fix your cars, there's 10 people in this town, 10 shops in this town that are giving back to the community by donating a car for you to come and win for free. And why do this? Because it's good for the community and we're trying to build awareness about the automotive industry. Everybody has a bad car story. We want to show some good car stories. You got hearts and hands that are taking care of people from the automotive industry and sharing that with our community. And you said it's one of three different levels of, of giving that your group does. Yes, right? sir. So our first level of giving is the needy. And so we support 25 nonprofits here locally and they select 25 cars. And then we have other independent shops and some of these that are giving them away. And they will repair those cars on Friday, Saturday and Sunday of this coming weekend. And then the second level of giving is we give to vocational trade schools in our industry, in the automotive repair industry. There's a big lack and a need of that in every industry. There's a labor shortage, but this is a great industry and we want to show that off. Okay, and the big event, of course, this weekend, how can somebody enter to win one of the cars? Well, our first drawing's at 12 noon, our second's at two, then we have one at four, and then one at six on Saturday and Sunday. Okay, and so you can come and win one of those cars, free drawing, just enter your name, well, you have to fill out a form. You're going to walk around and see our vendors because we have shopping, we have games, we have things like that. And you get a little stamp on a card and then you come back and we give you another card and we pull off, you can pull off a stub and yeah. it's a new drawing every two hours. So at 12 o'clock, whoever didn't win then, their names are gone. Two o'clock is a new set of names. Okay. And just a bunch of other, I mean, if you're into cars at all, this is the place to be and plus a big kids area too. Sure. I mean, it's just a fun themed event and there's concessions, there's fun for the family and there's information. You can talk to the vendors that are there. We have great sponsors and those sponsors are there, BG Products, Jasper Engines and Transmissions. They'll answer you all sorts of stories or they'll answer all sorts of questions for you. Anything that they can, can guide you on. Okay. Once again, CarFest is happening this Friday, Saturday and Sunday at the Freeman Coliseum. It is free and family friendly. For more information, go to our website, salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Remember, they are giving away 10 cars. Mark, thank you very much. Still ahead on SA Live, we are back out live at the area where Jen is learning some high flying moves and you can too. And next, create your own happy space, or should we say hoppy space. We're showing you how to decorate for Easter with some vintage items. You don't want to miss this. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, of course, yeah, Easter is right around the corner. This Sunday's Palm Sunday and it's less than two weeks away. Well, you know, instead of buying new decorations, how about going a little bit retro? Happy Space contributor David Hurtado shows us how to make a fresh spring look with some vintage items. Check it out. Spring has sprung and that means it's time to get our homes ready for Easter. So I've collected some things that I found around the house and some things that I just couldn't resist that I also found at thrift and antique stores and estate sales. And I brought them to a friend's house who's going to share with us some great ideas on how to decorate. Let's get going. I'm here with my friend John Bloodsworth. John, I brought you a lot of things. Good, and good. Thank you for having us at your lovely home. I love your house. Thank you. So, 
teacups here. Yeah. 25 cents thrift store, right? 25 cents at the thrift store. Just so what are we going to do today, John? All right, well, we're going to make a little easy, easy Easter decoration uh, that you can actually use and then put your goodies on this tray. So this is just a plastic tray from um, Dollar Store. So we took uh, a branch, spray painted it gold. So there's a bunch of different ways you can put it on here. We're gonna take a teacup. All right. So go ahead and take this, this is a lissum. You know, anywhere, your garden store, uh, your nursery. These are like 97 cents each. We've got our plant in there now. Correct, Easy. I see you already got started on a got couple Got a few of others started, so let's take some of this reindeer moss. Okay. We wanna, we wanna finish it out. We want it to have a good look. So All you right. take that one and we're Get that put, one down in there. All right. So That's you're going to moss it again, moss around it. All right. God, this is really easy. And you know, it's you, simple. people it's simple. pay a ton of money to have these done. But here we go. We're doing it ourselves with a little simple 75 yeah. cent sugar bowl. OK, these, now I can put this anywhere I want. Yeah, I'm going to maybe put this one right in here. Right there? Right in that area. OK. And then I'm going to take one of the teacups. Oh, you're going to hang. hang it. I'm going to maybe put another one on this little hook over here. Ah, there's where the Easter comes in, Here's guys. your Easter. Your Easter bunny. Yeah, you can do anything. You could do your uh, chocolates. You could put cookies in here. So in there, you've got a great uh, centerpiece for Easter. For your table five, or? Maybe five bucks, five or six bucks. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. And then the branch, nothing, because it was a yeah, pound. Just get it out of the Spray yard. Spray paint it out of the yard. Yeah. The plants, a flat, less than $5. Yeah. So yeah. This is great, John. I love this. And then, of course, the treats when Easter comes. There you go. There and you, go. you know, and the beauty about all this, it's recycled. Yes. Recycled and repurposed. That's what we want to do. Okay, what's uh, next, John? You might be able to shop around the house for some old silver plate. Or, if you don't have any silver, this is our silver plate. This doesn't have to be high dollar. Yeah. This, less than $10 at a thrift store. The tray, 20 bucks at an estate sale. $10, wow. Boysville Thrift Shop. Shop around at the thrift stores or the antiques or, or estate sales, yeah. and yeah. you'll find it there, and it's not high dollar. Not at all. Okay, so John, I see we're already a little bit started Again, on the moss we're, here. We're doing the, the, the nature thing with this. We're okay, I'll finish that. mossing. And, and then, then I'm gonna pick out some plants. These are actually from the grocery store. We're gonna plop this one down right here in the center. Center of the bowl. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna take some of the Alyssa, you want to take one of these out? Yeah, let's take one of these, squeeze them in here. All right, John, there we go. I'm these are, again, things that I'd gotten at a, a flea market. Let's put that one in the back, maybe. Okay, this yeah, yeah, yeah. Starting yeah. in the front. John, this is great. I mean, simple, easy arrangement. It was so quick and easy. And again, too, you know, if you already have these things, if you're recycling, repurpose from the house, it's just the cost of the plants and a little moss. John, great ideas. Thank you for having us at your My lovely pleasure. home. And I understand you're on Instagram. If anybody wants to follow you on Instagram, what's they your handle? They can follow me on Little Cabin in the Heights. Uh, I'll post pretty much every day ideas for Easter and on into other decorating ideas for the holidays. If you don't have these kind of things in the house or repurpose, you can certainly come buy some little items from me. I have a little shop called Little Cabin in the Armadillo Antiques Mall. Oh, wonderful. There you go. You can go shopping for some of these items. Mm -hmm. or dig behind in the back of the closet and see what you can find. Remember, you don't have to spend a lot of money no. to make your home a happy space for Easter. And again, if you are in the hunt for some of these antiques, you can head out to the Little Cabin, which is located in the Armadillo Antique Store. Congratulations to them. Armadillo was just voted the best antique store in town by my SA readers. We have a link to their website on our website, salive.com. Click on the Ask on SA Live tab or just scan that QR code right there on your screen. All right, still ahead on SA Live, restaurant quality food at home. A local chef shows us what he can bring to your next event or how he can help you spice up your romantic dinner for two. And next, we're back out at the Arium. Jen shows us some of the acrobatic tricks that they're gonna teach us or teach her. Welcome back to SA Live here in beautiful Market Square on this gorgeous, gorgeous late March day. Well, it is a San Antonio gym taking fitness literally to new heights. And that's where our Jen Tobias Strusky is learning the ropes on... Uh 
going on? That's right, we're back out here at the area. And I have Dara, the co-owner. Now you saw her in our first segment up here. Wow, she blew my mind with your talent. How long have you been doing this, by I've the way? I've been doing this for 10 years. 10 years. Okay, so we have some other apparatuses on this side. Tell me who we have here, what he's doing. <laughs> this is Brandon, and he is showing the trapeze, which is one of the hard apparatuses. And so you say hard apparatus, but this is also something that beginners can do, right? With it is. One? Yes, it's an introductory apparatus. Got it. And he's been coming here or for four years. Okay. Wow. Impressive. Again, all that full body strength, right? Yes. Okay. And then next we have? Next we have Kim. She's going to be on fabric and uh, she's one of my fabric theory aerial partners and she's one of our instructors here. Um, so we spend hours each week working on aerial math equations on the fabric. Um, I also wrote a book about it. Can you explain a little bit of, because for people who may not realize that connection with the math mm -hmm. and the, the yeah, aerial so, arts. Yeah, um, so it's all geometrical patterns. It's kind of like, you know, being a pirate on a ship. You know, like you learn a bunch of knots and, and so yes. we're our own kind of pirate. <laughs> that makes sense. All the different wraps that you do, yes. right, too? I see this, wow. Okay, she's amazing. She is. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful, oh my goodness. Okay, how long has she been doing this, you said, I'm sorry? Seven years. Seven years. Yeah, she nice. has a swimming, uh, diving and gymnast background. Got it. And next we have? Next we have Claudia, uh, my co-owner on Flying Pole. This is also a hard apparatus. The fabric is a vertical apparatus. Now, is it challenging because it's also swaying too? Like it, it is I mean. challenging, <laughs> yes. So static pole and flying pole are very different. And I think that it only, what makes it, it, it's less difficult depending on which one you're used to doing. So, so if you're used to swinging around from the ceiling, then it gets easier over time. Which one would you say is more challenging, the silks or the pole, or is it they're all... Um, have their different challenges. They hurt in different ways, so <laughs> it just depends on what you like. Yes, I will say earlier when I was just sitting on the silks over there, that was hurting a little bit. Yes. I'm not used to that, but wow, Claudia, amazing. And Claudia doesn't have a background in dance or gym, gymnastics, and you don't have to, right, to come you take don't. a class here? Uh -huh. You don't. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can start at any age, and we have students from ages 5 to 60. Amazing. Well done, Claudia. Okay, so classes available. If someone's watching yes. and they want to sign up, what do they need to know? They should download our app, the Arium LLC, on Android or iPhone. Okay. And you can look at our schedule through there. All right, and you have a deal for our SA yes. Live viewers. Uh -huh. SA Live for 50% off a trial class. All right, that is the promo code SA Live. So for more information, head over to our website, salive.com. Click the As Seen on SA Live tab or scan the QR code on your screen and come out here because they can teach you a whole lot. I'm, I'm so impressed, by the way, Thank Vera, you. Claudia, great job. All right, and you saw her daughter earlier. How old is she again? Six? Six, she's six. six. six years old, she's amazing. All right, back to you, Mike. Yeah, it is simply amazing, and they make it look so easy, but I'm sure the strength involved is just amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, very cool. Thank you very much, oh, yeah. Jen. All right, next on SA Live, the best recipes come from family. A local chef shares one of his favorites and how he can cater your event. Next. Well, do you have a big event coming up and if you really want to impress your guests and you need food that tastes like it came right out of a five-star restaurant, well, we have got the solution for you and that shrimp and grits was absolutely gorgeous to the scent and I can't wait to try it. Chef Caius from the Caius Experience is here with a recipe that is a big hit at every party. Welcome, sir. Okay, this looks like a million bucks. All right, that's what we aim for. And this is what your... Our specialty is, sir. So, uh, yeah, so we bring the uh, restaurant experience into 
uh, your home or it's wherever you have us, uh, ranging from traveling, chef services, uh, weddings, anniversary, corporate events, mm -hmm. uh, whatever you have us, uh, we'll love to be able to provide this setup uh, just for you. Okay, well, we've probably answered this question already, but what are we making today? Yes, sir. So uh, one of our specialties uh, for what we do is brunch, and uh, everyone's a big fan of shrimp and grits. So uh, my father taught me a really special uh, grits recipe where it's really creamy, nice and savory, and uh, we're going to add that with some uh, blackened shrimp that you're doing a fantastic job cooking. Okay, you're not just going to skip over that. How what's in, your, what's in your grits here? <laughs> yes, sir. So we have uh, some smoked Gouda grits, uh, oh, and we uh, kind of cook that down with a little bit of chicken bouillon, mm -hmm. some uh, garlic, uh, some uh, special seasonings, lots of butter, lots of heavy cream, just to really give you that depth of flavor. All right, and now, and then what are the spices that are on the shrimp? And these are almost done, aren't they? Yes, sir. Uh, you, you're doing a great job. So, uh, so we have a house seasoned blend that uh, we don't want to really relieve uh, all of our secrets, but it's just a combination of garlic, onions, some fresh herbs. And here we're going to have you uh, pour that sauce. So, a little we, bit of, so we plate the shrimp first? Yeah, we're going to pour the sauce first. Do a little pour bit the of the sauce. sauce. Yeah, okay. I'll help you out. All right, pour yeah. that on there. So pour a little bit of this sauce. Now, you come to someone's home, and again, this is the setup. This is you the setup. You don't have to use my dishes, my flatware, anything like that, right? Yes, sir. So we, like I said, we want to give you that restaurant experience. So you think going to a restaurant, you know, they're providing everything that you need, the food, uh -huh. uh, the service, the plates, and all that. So we want to mimic that same experience. Uh, also giving you amazing food and amazing service. All right, how far in advance, if somebody has an event coming up, do they need to get in touch with you? So we ask of a courtesy of about a month. Uh, sometimes you can get us in on weekdays. Our weekends are our most uh, uh, busiest uh, time, but mm -hmm. if you uh, give us in a, a month in advance, we, we're you know more likely to be able to accommodate your needs. So now, what's best to to have somebody recommend and go? I want this, this, and this, or can I go? All right, wow me. Yeah. So uh, we provide either or services. If you go to our website, we actually have about five menus that we provide on that website, mm -hmm. ranging from brunch menus, uh, intimate dinner menus, uh, all types of menus that will help you, you know, be able to decide where you want to go with that. That was your dad's recipe? Yes, That's sir. awesome. All right. Oh, oh my All right. God. Oh, my. <laughs> Yes. Oh, cream and white wine. Yes, oil. sir. Yeah. So we use a little bit of white wine, some uh, onions, garlic, uh, celery. Uh, cook that down. Deglaze the the pan with a little bit of wine and added some heavy cream. And uh, there you go. And definitely get into to that shrimp there. Can you just finish up this segment. Yeah. So, <laughs> what is your favorite thing to cook? And what's your favorite thing to eat? Like, oh, just kind of just good food. Hmm. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm passionate about just great food. And, and being from Alabama, coming to San Antonio, my range of uh, uh, cuisine is. Really really expanded so oh. just just whatever's good is you can expect us to do that and then we wash it down with yes what? sir so uh so slate theory is a winery that we paired up uh quite a bit mm -hmm. and so we have uh some of their wine here paired with a watermelon uh lemonade here so something nice and refreshing to start so it's a, it's a white wine, not a uh, sparkling wine. No. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Was, so was, we we do a lot of wine cocktails. Okay. Uh, yeah. So a lot of people are uh, used to the sparkling wine cocktails. You can also do a fantastic drink with the wine cocktail. <laughs> I knew it was going to be oh. a good day today. So. <laughs> Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, mm, that is delicious. If you would like more information on Chef Kai's, go to our website, nsalab.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just scan that QR code right there at the bottom of your screen. Oh, my goodness, sir. Thank you very much. That was right. delicious. A pleasure. Hey, tomorrow on SA Live, spring has our lawns riddled with leaves, but before you mow them all down, we share some pro gardening tips for you. Guess what? It is National Weed Appreciation Day. Yep, there's a day for that. and tell you how to utilize your native Texas weeds. Plus, Lent isn't over quite yet, where you can get your favorite seafood dishes in town. And of course, let's not forget, it is crawfish season. All that yumminess and a whole lot more tomorrow, 1 p.m. right here on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell.
Okay, the dream car. What would it be? Ooh, there's a sweet looking one that looks like an old, what, 67 302 Boss Mustang? 59, no, 69, pardon me. White convertible Rolls Royce. Oh, well, yeah, Linda. Okay, I would love one of those too. It would have to be a Dodge Challenger Hellcat wide body in matte black. Okay, love that one, Tomcat. 67 Corvette, ooh, nice year for Corvettes. I would, uh, 59 Corvette would be great too. That'd be a good one. And uh, yes, a Hummer that says eat more taco. <laughs> and it's gotta be the Hummer H1. A micro, a VW bus. The classic one, of course. All right, don't forget about sweet Southern artistry, all of those beautiful decorated cupcakes and cookies, and they do custom orders as well. And don't forget, tomorrow, more great seafood dishes for Lent, and it's crawfish season, so I'm gonna have dessert right now. Okay, we will see you tomorrow.